This is the decoupage rock that we're going to make today. It's very easy and comes out really, really nice. And this is especially for people who are in a hurry to get lots of rocks done for whatever occasion or if you just don't feel artsy or like you can draw, sketch or or paint well and you're a beginner, this is the perfect rock for you. So let's get started. Hi there, this is Lori Surratt and this is my very first video tutorial of a decoupage rock. Here are some supplies that you're going to need. First, a pair of scissors, a sponge brush, a you know, pretty small sponge brush for uh, small rocks. Um, you're going to use the Mod Podge. If it's for rocks that you're going to have outdoors, of course you want to get the green label outdoor uh, protection, um, you know, against rain, mildew, and all that sort of thing. Um, then we have the glitter. This is just a Sargent's Art Acrylic Glitter Glaze. I got it from Amazon. By the way, Mod Podge, you can buy at almost any craft store. Um, and they have several different brands. It's basically like a water glue. And it's great for putting on your labels on the back of the rocks. And, um, and you can use it also as an all-around sealer. However, it is not uh, weatherproof. So if your rock needs to be weatherproof, you need to get the one that says Outdoor Green Label. And that I can't find at all places, but I, I have seen it at uh, Michael's Craft Store. Anyhow, let's move on. Okay, then we have any type of acrylic, you know, two ounce or larger uh, bottle of acrylic paint. Um, and that we're going to use in this demonstration as our base coat. Um, I suggest another foam brush size doesn't really matter. It depends on the size of the rock. Bigger rock, bigger brush. Um, smaller rock, smaller brush. I mean foam brush. Okay, and then um, since we're decoupaging the rock, um, afterward we're going to use a couple paint markers of your choice of color. I just have some samples here. This is a painter's marker with a medium tip um, and I put it in between the the decoupaged items just to make it look, you know, filled in and pretty. Um, this one is a Posca, um, very fine tip in case I want to write anything or add any squiggles or, or do something in between and also to write on the back of the rock when I'm finished. Okay, let's see. Next thing we've got a rock. It's uh, like a smooth river rock. This one's actually called a Mexican beach pebble. I got a bag of these for around 10 bucks at Home Depot and um, they're working out pretty good. You get uh, a lot of flat round ones that are nice. Um, they do have a few dents and scratches on them. Of course, that's their rock, so I guess what do you expect? Anyway, and a friend of mine brought me some, it looks like a, a slightly waxed tissue paper and it had all different kinds of butterflies on it. And um, it's just a, a, a on a back, white background tissue paper. So what I did was I went ahead and pre-cut them out of the big sheet so that we can, um, and, we, and we're going to cut around the design. Not real close. We're going to leave some white paper, but it's good to go in between at least uh, this part of the butterfly and the top part, you know, leaving just a tiny bit of white. And it'll blend right in with the background because we're going to base coat the rock in white. Um, so you want to pre-cut these all out and be ready and set. Anyway, okay, let's get started. Okay, continuing on with our base coating. Um, we have our rock, our sponge brush, our water, and our white paint, acrylic paint. Um, this one happens to be Delta Ceram Coat White Opaque. I've squirted some out and uh, and I have my little towel here to, to dab my brush. And let's get started. This is a little thick. I think I'll add a little bit of water here and just water it down. This is our first base coat, so it doesn't have to be put on thick. And you don't have to do it, uh, 
you know, worry about doing it real neat or anything. Let's just kind of get the sides and the top lightly base coated. You don't really want the paint too thick because we're going to put on a second coat and uh, we don't want it to take forever to dry. So, Okay, so that's good. We'll wash out our brush in the water. Let that dry. And come back for our second coat. And we're going to do that just like the first coat. So um, when we continue, I'm going to have the rock already finished with two base coats. Okay, so we have our first coat of base coat white uh, acrylic paint on our rock. And we're going to just do another light coat on top of that. And then we'll be ready to decoupage our rock. I kind of do the sides first. That way I can hold the middle of the rock and go around sideways, get the sides all done. It's really quick and easy with this, uh, with this, uh, um, gosh, I can't think right now. <laughs> the, uh, the sponge brush makes it so quick and easy. Okay, wash our brush and we're all ready to let it that dry and then start our decoupage process. Okay, now that our rock is dry and we have two light Quick, quick light coats of white acrylic paint. Um, as soon as it's uh, dry to the touch, um, we're going to get started on doing our decoupage portion. Now this is really great if you're trying to do a lot of rocks for let's say an occasion, uh, a rock hunt uh, for a group and or a rock exchange and you want to get a lot of rocks done quickly and you don't have time to do all the fine artwork on it. Or if you just don't feel like you, you know, feel crafty or feel like a, a, that you could draw and stuff like that, this is a good way to start with rocks. Um, and there's lots of ways to do rocks where you don't have to be an artist. Um, and you can make them quick and easy with just a few, ma a few little supplies. Okay, so what we have here is we have our Mod Podge and we've squirted some out. We have our sponge brush. And of course our rock with two light base coats on the sides and top. If you want to do the other side, two coats, you can, uh, you can do that. But just for the tutorial, I went ahead and just did the top of the rock. And I'll go back and do the other two layers if I want to on, on the back. Sometimes I leave them blank so I can put my group's label um, on the back with some Mod Podge. Um, Anyway, we also have, instead of regular water, we have now soapy warm water um, for brushes and sponge brushes because when you're using Mod Podge, it's basically like a glue in water. Um, or if you're using your glitters, which we're going to use later on, um, you know, it's good to get all that glitter and not have it get in your paint brush for when you're just trying to paint. Um, and then we also have, for finishing, we have our Painter's marker, medium tip, and neon. Um, you can pick any color you want. These butterflies that we're going to do have multicolors, so almost any color will will do. And then I have a Posca ultra fine tip in case you want to do any, you know, fine writing. Anyway, I've already pre-cut my butterflies out of the tissue paper, and this isn't a very big rock. I normally put maybe four, four on a rock, but I usually put one on this end, one on this end, and I cut the butterfly right in half and then just put the wings going up, the flat part down, and it looks like four butterflies. So, but this rock is so small um, that I'm just going to, well, I'm going to start with this one. There was quite a few different versions of butterflies. So basically all we do is to get some decoupage on our brush. Just put enough. We don't have to do the whole rock. We'll do the whole rock at the end after we uh, get all our butterflies on. This one you just cut around the butterfly. Can you see this? You cut around the butterfly or whatever kind of tissue paper. I'm not seeing it. Tissue paper you have. And just leaving a little bit of the white. So I put some, some decoupage on there or some Mod Podge and now we're just going to Lay it on top and go over the top and smooth out the wings and try to get any wrinkles out if you can. Try to work from the center out. 
Okay, there's butterfly number one. I don't know if you can see that. But now we're going to put on butterfly number two on the other end. But before I do, this one may end up coming off the edge of the rock a little bit. And so I, so that it will fold easily with the glue, I just cut a few slits across the back wings. And now when I decoupage it, here, let me turn this so you can see. Okay, I'm putting my Mod Podge on and going over the side. Now I'm going to put my butterfly on with the butterflies facing each other. But as you see, these little wrinkles here, because of the way the rock is shaped, you have to cut little slits so that you can, in the tissue paper, so that you can get them to flatten out. Okay, and again, especially when you've done that, go away from, away from the center of the butterfly so that you don't peel it back up. Okay, quick and easy peasy. Now, if I want to put some butterflies, say, on the side to fill in this blank space, I would just take a butterfly, cut it out like I did before, only cut it right down the center. Then you can put the flat part that you cut toward the bottom of the rock with the two wings coming up. I'm not going to do that right now. Well, actually, maybe I will. Okay, let me, let me grab one. And we'll show you how we... I can't seem to get my fingers in this picture here. Okay, we're going to cut just a little bit of the white tissue around, leaving some edge. It's not going to show up once you're done because you have a white, white base coat. So I go ahead and cut it the same way I would just to put anywhere on the rock, all in one piece. But when I'm finished with that, I will kind of slice it down the middle and make two halves of a butterfly. One will go on one side of the rock, the other will go on the other side. So now I'm going to cut that right down the middle. Now I have two halves. I just add a little Mod Podge to the side of the rock. And I'm going to put it, like I say, wings up and kind of just roll it around the rock. And then get some Mod Podge on there and just start from the center, working it out toward the edges until it's affixed on there nicely. And now, see, that kind of uh, fills up that empty space that you see on this side. So now we'll put the other half. So you just add the, the half butterfly with the wings going upward, working outward, and there you have it. Okay, mine is already almost dry. It dries pretty fast. Now, I've decided, and of course you can do what you want, um, I have, like I said, the medium paint marker called Painters. I got this one at Joann's, and it's great for making quick dots. I like to shake it up, press the tip down a couple times, I want this rock to be really colorful, bright, and cheerful, so I'm using the neon. This is actually uh, my first set of neon markers, and I'm very happy with them. So I'm going to go in between all the butterflies and put dots, like so. Now you may want to do a different design. You may want to write words on there of encouragement or something in between. Um, you know, sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want. These things are fast drying, easy to use, and it kind of gives it a complete filled in look. You might like to leave it blank. I don't know, but me, I kind of like to, I'm sort of an overdoer sometimes, and, uh, but I think what it does is it, it makes you forget that you have tissue paper glued on a rock. And most people think you painted it, so um, I always tell them it's decoupaged if they ask. But because I couldn't, I couldn't paint this anyway. 
it's really coming together here. Now we'll just give that a moment to dry. Like I say, they dry pretty fast. Now I'm